All right, what is going on, everybody? So today, we are back at school, clearly, and we get to go back to my old gym, finally, which I'm really excited about um, because I've missed my gym. I've realized how much I actually like this gym. So uh, hopefully this camera angle is good. I bought like a little stand. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's better than what I was doing before that you guys don't understand. I literally had my tripod in my front seat, like pinned against my chair. Um, just so I can like get an angle and it would fall. And like, I had to hold my tripod separately and then I had to like put it on different angles. I had to like wedge it against shit. It was just bad. So uh, hopefully this angle isn't too bad. Um, and it's, it's good enough. Well, we'll see after this video if I'm going to keep it like this or not, but I got it. It's not that bad, so I'll take it for now. Um, anyway, we have paw squats and mid-girt bench today. Um, so paw squats are probably going to be pretty heavy because I think I'm at like RP8 this week because next week's my last week before the block, the new block, um, which I was going to talk about, which I'm going to talk about as well. But starters is yeah so today should be pretty heavy i mean i still have my like range and i think it's just like today i take the high end of the range instead of the low end but we'll see i mean all my excess like every day besides primaries has been really light even primaries have been really light for me besides bench um last video or last friday it wasn't on video it's on my instagram but uh friday and saturday i hit bench prs all time on friday I hit an all-time bench PR, like fully new all-time PR. Um, my ass came up because my bench was absolutely terrible and it like stalled midway going up. It was really weird. So I'm going to blame it on the bench and say I have the strength because it didn't really like, it wasn't super slow or anything. Like I hardly even grinded it. It was just like it stopped and then it moved and my ass came up. So I don't know. I think it's just the bench. Um, I couldn't like get good leg drive and consistent with it. So I think that's the main reason for that. Um, on Saturday, I used that same exact bench, but I used kilos instead of pounds. Um, and I did my old PR, which would have tied my all-time PR, but it was a three-count day. Um, and I hit it really well, really easy. Um, good pauses. Ash didn't come up, and it was with kilos, so it actually matters more. Um, so Saturday was really good. Friday was okay. Next week, I drop back down to a 5 RP normal bench, but my 3 count is the same or hard, harder, so I'll probably low-key match my um, my all-time bench PR with a 3 count uh, next Saturday, so I'm definitely going to film that, or this Saturday actually, and I'm definitely going to film that, and then that's my last primary session for the whole block as well, so I'm definitely going to film that because my heavy is dead and my uh, heaviest bench of the whole block for a three count pause, so that's really fun. Uh, the mid grip bench today, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, just because last time I did mid grip bench, it was like iffy from what I remember. Like, I'm gonna watch the video back, but I'm pretty sure it was like a struggle for my last, like it was like RP9, um, and that's what I have today. So I'm probably gonna either do the exact same as last week, or since I'm on kilos this week, maybe I'll go up two and a half kg or like maybe like literally nothing. So we'll see. I got to judge how hard the last one was and how I feel. Honestly, the warmths are going to determine a lot of what I'm doing today, uh, bench wise at least, because I have free range and it's just like last week was hard. So we'll see how that goes. Um, we can talk about my diet real quick. I don't know what's going on with me, uh, but while I was home, I pretty much, like, I didn't eat, like, shit, but, like, I was way less lenient tracking because you go, like, I went out a lot more. So, like, yes, I still, I still tracked everything I ate. I always do that. But, like, I'd go out to eat probably at least once a day, maybe twice a day, whereas while I'm here, I don't go out at all. So, like, the calories are way more inaccurate, I guess. And I would figure they'd be way higher because I was undercalculating to be able to eat more to try to gain weight. And I couldn't gain weight for anything. Eating massive. I, I went over my calories last week by 500. And I didn't gain any weight. So my app added 100 calories a day to what I'm eating from last week, this week. Which means my, my calorie for the weeks 
is an extra 700 calories for the whole week. So I have maintained, I'm 176 right now, I think, this morning. You guys know in the title, but I'm light. Like, I, I have not gained weight in, like, a minute. Like, the heaviest I was was that one day where I weighed in 179, and since then I haven't broke 178, which is crazy. So um, I'm now, what, like, eight weeks out or seven weeks out? And I'm still 176, which is really good, because that means I'm definitely not going to have to cut it all to weigh in, like at all, at all. Um, so that's that's good. And I, I just can't gain weight right now. Like, I just have to eat more and more and more. I don't know why, but it's kind of annoying. It's also kind of good. It's also kind of bad. It's kind of weird. It's good because I can keep eating and fuel my body with as much as possible and hardly gain weight, which means my expenditure is going up a lot which means I'm burning more calories, which means I definitely have put on muscle because of my muscle mass is higher, so my body is burning more calories throughout the day, which is good, really good. That's the positive of it. The negative of it is I'm not really that hungry because I'm eating so much for so long at this point. I've been eating at least 3,500 calories for 20 weeks at this point, so I'm not really hungry anymore Like at the end of the day. like I'm still like, some days I'll be hungry, some days I'll be hung like I won't be hungry, but... I'm usually satisfied or I don't want to eat more. So the fact that I have to keep adding calories every single day is not a bad thing. It's just, it's going to become a job to start eating again, which I don't like about bulking. Especially like when I was not lean bulking and I was just going for it, that's what it was. Like every day it was like, all right, you're getting as much food as possible. And I've always been a big eater, but it was like, just eat, keep eating until you can't eat anymore. Um, Obviously, that's not the way you want to do it. I've realized that now. And that's kind of how it's starting to feel because I just need to eat, eat, eat. But I also eat really clean. So if I stopped eating clean, then yeah, it'd be really easy to get my calories and I'd probably be hungry every day. But right now, I'm eating clean. I want to stay eating clean. So at the moment, it's been a little bit of a job to meet my calories, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal. Um... And it's good because I get to fuel myself throughout comp and I probably won't have to starve. I won't have to water cut. I won't have to food cut. I won't have to do anything to weigh in. So unless my weight spikes or something, which I'm hoping it doesn't, I'll control it. I should be good going into comp, which is really good for me. Um, so I'll take that. The Inzer belt, I made one tighter. I don't know if I did that since I filmed, but I made it one tighter because it was really loose last time I, I did... Um, my, my last secondary session when I did the SBD day, it was really loose. So I made it all tighter. I made it one tighter, and it's still pretty loose, but it still doesn't clamp all the way either, which I don't really get. Um, but they said it's fine, and everybody around me says it's fine, so I'm not worried about it. Um, and I do now feel pressure in my belt because I made it a little tighter, and it's, I think it's really good now. It's in a good spot. Like, my deads have felt great. My squats have felt great. Hopefully they feel really good today. And, I mean, hopefully I'll have no complaints. We'll see. But um, right now, the Inzer belts fire. The Inzer knee sleeves, though, are still, like, the best thing I've ever purchased in my life. Like, they're so crazy. I put those knee sleeves on, I feel like I'm a whole different person. Like, it's, it's like, weird. Like, I put the knee sleeves on, I'm like, okay, I can just squat 50 more pounds now casually. So I don't know if that's just mental or it's just that's how good they feel and that's how good they are. I think it is because, like, I have my Stoics on. Like, today I have my Stoics on. And I won't feel like I have much help when I put the Inzers on. It's like I'm a whole different person, which is really cool. So, yeah, uh, enough yapping. Let's get in the gym, get some paw squats, some mid grip bench, and then some accessories. See you guys in the gym. Shoulder press is like 200. Dude. So That's what this is. Oh shit. <laughs> What'd you say, 200 kg? No, just 200 pounds. What the fuck? This is 242. Wow. No, this is 259. Uh, well, I'll get saved by that.
supposed to not pause? You're supposed to be paused? No. Huh? All right, sorry I was talking there, but um, I forgot my belt, so my boy gave me his belt for now. Uh, it's an SVD, so it's adjustable, but I don't. I left my belt at home. I'm a fucking retard, so. Uh, this is five. My top set moved decent. The pauses were kind of iffy, but whatever. This is a set of five, so. See how this goes. Alright, um, that didn't look terrible. I'd like my pauses to be a little longer, but well, it kind of feels like dog, so we'll see. I miss my belt a good little bit. This belt's weird. I got one more. Alright, we're listening to music. Watch that. Fucking. They look good. They just don't feel good, but it's fine. All right, mini grip bench. Fuck. Okay, so I changed my rack height for squats um, up one because it was a little too low. So this is the last one for mid grip bench. This is the same rack height. Um, got a single, and a top set of five at eight. So it's gonna be a little hard, but that makes sense. And hopefully this moves easy. Three, two, one. All right. What? All right, that moved pretty good. So we're going to do 92 and a half kg, which I did like a little more than 90 kg last week. So, um, for five, definitely not going to be easy. But it's supposed to be RP8, so it's not supposed to be easy. I should I should get it though. 
shouldn't be that bad. So we'll see, I guess. Let's get it. Two more, two more. Got that last one, easy, come on. Come on, push it, push it, push it. Oh, my pauses were bad. Three, two, one. I always miscount. It's only. All right, we're dropping it to six reps because fuck eight reps. There's literally no point. That felt like shit. That felt like shit. There's no point. So, dropping it to six reps, same weight. Uh, hopefully, it's way better. We'll see. I hate close group bends so much. It's pointless to me. It's the worst. Whatever. <laughs> See what I'm saying? All right, I got six again. Fuck close skirt bends, bro. I hate this shit so much. Whatever, it's fucking ass. lunges now all right now we get three by ten walking lunges my favorite thing in the world i'm literally gonna kill myself it's all right unless i'm not wearing shoes to this
Chest press. All right, we got four by 10. It's gonna be hard as shit. It's RB9. All the accessories are RB9 today. So, see how this goes. It's light as shit. Alright, uh, up the weight to 150 because that's what was pretty light. So, we'll see how this feels. That's not listen to this shit. There we go. Still light, but whatever. All right, last set. Fuck me, I don't know why it's so easy right now, but I keep moving the seat a little forward, make it harder. So. All right, time for torture. Three sets, as many as possible. Leg extension. Um, love these. Absolutely love these. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna do eighty. See how it feels. I can't count. I got 11, apparently. <laughs> um, I like shit, but whatever. Let's go again. Oh 
All right, well, that's it. Uh, I get 11, or 11 and a half last night, so I can get 11 three times on the other. Come on. Single arm tricep, and we're done. All right, I got four, like 12, I think. Sets. I'm gonna probably up the weight in the last set. We have a pump. I 
don't know. I talked for a while. I was here for a really long time. So. My tricep should be pumped at least because I just did that. Oh, God. All right. Let's see. That's all right. It's not great, but let's get in the car. All right, hopefully the camera's good. Um, so we can talk a little bit about that session. Some few things happened, actually, that I wasn't expecting. But first off, we can say, um, honestly, it wasn't a great session, um, which is kind of surprising because everything, like, moved well, but nothing felt good. Um, which actually doesn't really surprise me just because I've been sick and I had a decently heavy session uh, Saturday. Um, so my bench being heavy doesn't surprise me at all, actually. Um, what does surprise me is that my squats felt heavy. They moved really well, but they did feel heavy. I think it's because of my belt, though, too. Um, I didn't have my belt on me, so I used that kid's belt. So, yeah, so we can talk. So first off, I forgot my fucking belt, which I didn't realize until I went out of my car. Um, and I was like, oh, shit, I don't have my belt. So that is anno that was annoying as well, especially because I'm used to my belt already, and I'd, like, break it in. And I used an SPD belt, which is very different than my Inzer belt. I didn't think they were that different, but they're actually really, really different. Um, so that, that kind of fucked me up a little bit. The other thing I will say is I ordered a Pioneer lever for my Inzer belt, which is what every single good lifter, honestly, around me at least does, besides having an SPD belt. Um, and I realize why now, because it has adjustable shark teeth. I like to call them. I don't know if they're actually called that, but they have adjustable teeth you can put the, the lever into. Um, so I'm going to do that because if you eat more one day or something and my belt's too tight, I have to adjust the whole thing. Or if like one day I, you know, I'm I ate less, it's looser. When you have a shark teeth thing like that, you can just adjust it by the day. And like, let's say best example, I actually think the most useful example for me is for squats. I like it a little tighter than I do for deads. So for squats, I can make it one tighter than for deads. Whereas right now I have to unscrew it and do all that shit, which I'm not doing every time. So that is good. I ordered one. They're also cheap. They're on sale right now for Black Friday, I guess. So it wasn't bad at all. It's like 60 bucks for a whole lever for Pioneer, which is, is fine. Um, a whole belt's like 180. So I ended, up, I ended up spending an extra 20 bucks for an Inzer belt, which in my opinion is a way better belt in general. Um, so can't complain about that at all. I just forgot my belt today, which sucks. Um... Yeah, that sucks. So pause squats, I had a top set of five. My pauses were a little iffy, um, but it was it was good. Everything like moved well. Um, I missed my bar for sure. First major change today is that I raised my rack height. So my rack height was 12, and it's been 12 forever. Um, and then like I was talking to Bornstein, as you, you guys saw, um, and he was like, bro, I squat on 12. I'm like, uh, you do? And I was like, low key. I felt like I grew like an inch. Like, I don't think I actually grew, but like, it felt like I grew. Like, it felt really low today on the rack. And I, maybe it's just because on the pound, um, on the pound racks I've been using in my other gym, they're way higher. So that's just what I'm used to now. But I liked it a lot better when I raised it to 13. I felt like, like, I didn't have to squat it up. I can just, you know, do the little hip thrust thing and then back out. So I think that helped me a lot. Um, I did that for my working set and then my back offs. So you can see the difference between my last warm up and my working is literally, that's the only difference of what I changed. So I think that is going to help my squat even more than my squats already going to get better. Um, mid grip bench actually moved decent. Like my top set of five, I think moved really well. Um, and then the back downs did not at all. The first back down of eight, I only did seven. First off, the kid was like his whole, his balls were in my face the whole set. So wasn't great for me but whatever that wasn't the reason he also thought i did eight when i did seven i was like did i do eight or seven he's like you did eight you did eight so i racked it but it didn't matter i lost positioning instantly it felt like shit so i already talked to you guys about this i think and i talked to my coach about this but he was like yeah next block we're lowering your your 
top set. Like your your back down's to six reps or like less than eight because eight's a little stupid for you, which I already knew because my arms are long as shit. It's just like impossible. So I lowered it down to six and then did two more sets. Um, and they didn't feel amazing. I'm not gonna lie, they felt kind of bad. Like I think to be honest, close grip bench and mid grip bench for me always feel like shit. I don't like them at all. I think my grip's already like decently close on my comp bench because I'm doing uh, ring finger instead of like pointer finger. So I think when I do close grip bench, it's just like the range of motion is so much even more than my normal bench. And I already have really high range of motion because my arms are just freakishly fucking long and I have shit leverages for bench. So I think it just makes it really hard, but it was a PR either way. Um, wasn't terrible. It just didn't feel great. So it's kind of interesting, but wasn't wasn't that bad. Um, walking lunges felt like fucking dog shit, but they always do. I hate walking lunges so much. Um, I really hope we're taking them out, but I don't know if we take them out next block or it's going to be the block after because I'm like seven weeks out or six weeks out now. So I know they're going to come out soon. I just don't know how soon. I hope they're gone after next week, but I don't actually know yet until he gives me the block. So my RP sevens, uh, I asked him and he said are going to stay at the range that he gave me. He doesn't want me to push them to my actual RP seven. So the goal is that my RP seven squat on my last day of the block on Friday, um, well, not my last day of the block, my last primary day for squat on the block. The goal is that it moves at like a five, even though it's prescribed at seven. Um, but the goal is that it moves at like a five. So hopefully that is the case. Um, and my bench is actually RP5, so it's going to be fucking air when I do it. But that's okay. So that video might actually be that fun. But my deadlift, I'm definitely going to film if I don't film my squat. Because my deadlift's also an RP7, which should also move out of 5. Um, but then my bench, my 3 count is an RP9. So that's going to be, like I said in the intro, either matching my all-time PR that I just hit on pounds and kilos... Um, or like right under that. So, and I have to be strict up to three count pause. So we'll see. Oh, I missed the light. Damn it. We'll see how uh, that goes, but that should be a fun, fun video. That might be my next upload unless I film my tempos on Wednesday. Uh, we'll see. I haven't filmed tempos in a minute, so I might film on Wednesday as well. But yeah, so I need to start eating more. Um, and I just gotta, I gotta, I'm supposed to meal prep when I get back. I think it's going to be too late for me to do that. So I have a feeling I'm probably just going to have like my protein shake and my banana and rice krispies and stuff. And then I might just have one of my salads and then just like maybe tuna or like turkey or something like nothing major. Um, I don't even have time to meal prep, nor do I want to. And I have a lot of homework to do. So yeah, that's kind of unfortunate for me. But uh, either way, it was a decent session, even though it didn't feel like a decent session. Uh, pump was super mid because I talked for forever. Like, in between my squats, there was probably 30 minutes in between each set. So that's super annoying, to be honest. But whatever. Not a big deal. Hopefully this camera angle is good and I can keep it for a while. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all there is. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.